Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about pointer increment and pointer decrement. We had seen that a pointer uh, increment, actually, it is a sum of a pointer address and the size of the uh, data type of that particular pointer. And also, we have seen that the pointer decrement, actually, uh, it is the difference of the pointer address and the size of a pointer uh, a data type. So, today, we are going, actually, to ask another question. What are the pointer addition and pointer subtraction? So, on those particular concepts of pointer addition and subtraction, we are going to take into a journey to define what are they, and then we are going to put up some syntaxes and basically go on and do implementation in Dev C++. So, let's go now and uh, actually define uh, what it is actually a pointer onto that particular note, onto a pointer, basically, we are saying that uh, a pointer addition or subtraction actually will depend on the following of the two uh, uh, operations. One, it is the type of a machine. So, it's a type of a machine. And the type of machine either can be a 32-bit or a 64-bit. And number two, also it will depend on the size of a pointer. It will depend on the size of a pointer. So let's take for example, if we have here the data type, And here we have a 32-bit machine, and here we have a 64-bit machine. If we have got a data type of int, in a 32-bit machine, we'll have 2 bytes, and 64 will have up a 4 bytes. If we have a character, we'll have a byte, and we'll have 2 bytes. And if we have a float, we'll have 4 bytes and we have 8 byte. So basically, these are the things which are going actually to affect what our addition and our subtraction will be like. So let's now go to the syntax. Basically here, we're not talking about the syntax. We're talking about how do we do up an addition now, how do we do up a, a subtraction? So, when we're talking about the addition, we know basically if we have our new address here, then our new address will be our current address plus, it's very important, whatever our number we want to, to add times the size and here we have seen different type of size so if you go to subtraction and we want to have our new address we'll have our current address minus our number we want to subtract times the size and we have seen here the size actually will depend either it is 32 bit or 64 bit and the data type uh, size will depend whether it is an integer a character a float or others so this particular formula actually it is uh, very important for us to understand so let's take for example here i have int n i actually give it a value of 30 and then i declare my p that is a pointer so if an, I assign p to the address of n, and then I say p, I want to do up an addition plus 3, and then I say p, I want to do a subtraction minus 3. Let's see what will happen. So let's conceptualize this particular concept and see how it can work. So 
basically if this is our n here and the value is given up 30 hypothetically the address actually it is 220 and from 220 here we're going actually to 216 if uh, and from here we are going to 232 remember we are trying to add the addresses so let's see how uh, this can actually work now if this is 220 so this particular address is 220 and uh, if we do up an addition what will happen if actually we do up an addition actually if you do up an addition will be this 220 plus the number here the number is what the number is 3 here, here if it is the number actually it is 3 so will be 3 times if this is a, a I mean a 64 a bit so it will be times 4 so here we are giving a 220 plus 12 so 220 plus 12 we are getting up into 232 so actually this will be the next uh, address and uh, if we are doing up the same uh, 220 here will be times 4 so will be 220 minus uh, 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 12 so 220 minus 12 actually this will be 08 so this one it will come up onto this particular area and this one it is the one here so basically this is the concept so uh, this particular concept should be understood very much that depending on a machine uh, if you are declaring up a, a variable in integer if it is 64 it will actually uh, multiply that particular number by 4 so let's go to dev c++ and see how we can implement actually the same so in dev c++ let's have our n equals to 50 and then we are declaring up a, a pointer called p so on that particular note let's assign our p to the address of n so whichever the address of n this particular machine give it will be assigned to p so let us now print the address of p so we are printing here the address of p so here we can say the address of p equals to percentage u and we are having up our variable p there and then we terminate so from here let's do up an addition so here we are going to say a p should be assigned to p plus 3 so here we are doing up an addition and let's now print the new position after the addition so our new position here the address of now p plus 1 should be equal to percentage u and now after addition we are going to see the address of p is actually p plus 3 not p plus 1 and then we do now subtraction so if p should be equal to p minus 3 and onto that now we are printing again the address of p minus 3 should be equal to percentage u and uh, here we having up our p so basically uh, that is what we want to demonstrate but if a particular address of p here it was let's say 10 and then we add 
uh, this particular one and since we are using up an integer so it will be 10 plus 3 times 4 which actually it has incremented it by 12 and then here we are supposed to decrement it again by 12 so we should come up originally back to our uh, first address of p so let us run this particular program and see what will be our uh, output so when we run this particular program we are seeing that the address of p actually uh, uh, ends up with 20 and uh, that particular 20 when you add 12 because it will be 3 times 4 and 12 and uh, actually it gives us 32 it gives us 32 so that is an increment because it shows this particular machine it is a 32 it is a 64 bit machine and then from there when we minus 3 actually we are minusing 12 so into 12 actually what happens it is we are going back originally uh, to our uh, address before uh, we did addition or subtraction so basically this is how we have demonstrated uh, uh, our concepts of addition pointer addition and pointer subtraction however don't forget to subscribe into our next lesson which will be pointer comparison for now bye